What's up everyone, this is Max Power TCG and welcome back to the arena where we discuss all things TCG, specifically Pokemon. So for this video, we would like to actually do one of our first of many unboxings like you've seen in a previous post, uh, unboxings, unpack openings, things like that are something that I really love to do. Uh, and it's something that I wanted to share with my friends primarily and others that love it. So it's, it makes it the experience that much more fun. So what are we opening today? We will be opening this v memories box and as you can see here this particular one has celebrations packs of course it also has some other sword and shield uh, regular packs and also it has these two promo cards which are lance's charizard v and dark sylveon v uh, as you guys may know celebrations is paying homage to previous sets that pokemon has come up with over the years and it's very interesting. It's a breath of fresh air because it kind of just showcases, you know, the specific aspects, gaming mechanics, and things that made cards so special uh, with each release over the 25 years. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been 25 years, right? A lot of us were kids at the time, still watching the TV show, the anime, and buying some of these cards for ourselves, right? Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open these. As you can see in the back here real quick, uh, this does bring the promo cards we mentioned. It brings six celebrations, four card booster packs. So it's like the mini packs because it's the a set of 25 cards and a subset of another 25, which is called the classic collection. These are the ones paying homage to those previous sets like we mentioned. It has a cool Sylveon pin, which will show off a metallic Charizard coin and a code card, just like any other product that you buy. So with that, let's get into it. Okay. I'm actually very excited because this is the first Celebrations product I'm opening. Can't wait to see what we get here. Um, you guys might have seen the Sylveon in one box and the Charizard in another box if you've been going to uh, Walmart's, Target's, other retail stores. Uh, there they are, by the way. Very nice. These normally come separately and they go for about $19.99 each, but this two-in-one special pack is actually an exclusive to GameStop. I was able to, to catch it online when they were uh, selling it and it arrived two, three days afterwards. So pretty glad to have gotten that. Here is that Sylveon pin, pretty nice. And most of these packs usually come with like an oversized card. The chars are there. It actually goes in this binder right here. Uh, for the Celebrations booster packs, the first partner packs. We'll go over that in another video, but just thought I would show that off briefly. And without further ado, let's get into the packs themselves. There's a lot of packaging to go through here, but it doesn't really take much longer to get into it. Here's a Charizard coin, pretty cool. Now, this particular box brought Darkness Ablaze, Battle Styles, which we will open Probably not, actually. Let's go ahead and open these first, and then we'll get into our six celebrations packs. I, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm trying to not yell so much, but uh, this is this is really fun. I love just opening packs and seeing what you can get. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Now, Darkness Ablaze. This is actually a pack where you can get the uh, VMAX Charizard before it was in a Rainbow Rare. It's a green code card. You know what? These are for you. If you guys, anyone wants to claim a code card for the TCGO, go right ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and share with uh, whoever watches the video, whoever wants to claim it. It's uh, free for you guys. Now, typically we wanna do a pack trick. In this case, it's one, two, three, four from the back. We put it in the front. The reason you do that for these regular packs is because that'll make sure that the last card that you check is actually the, the rare. It's the hit of the set. Now it's a green code, so Unfortunately, likely it might not be a massive hit. It won't be like a super rare, an ultra rare or higher, but hey, let's see what we get here. Lightning Energy, Lunatone, Struggle Gloves, Combuskin, Panpour, Teddy Ursa, Rookity, Torchic, Trap Inch, Hippowdon is a reverse, Hollow. I might need this for my binder actually. And Galarian Mr. Rhyme is the rare. Not too much, but hey, I like this uh, reverse holo. I might need it for my personal collection. So uh, let's go ahead and see what else we pull here. So moving on to battle styles. 
This one's known for having uh, the start of alternate art cards in this set. And uh, it's something that's pretty cool because even though it's more of a competitive based set, of course, and maybe it's not the most popular for a lot of people, that's not to say it doesn't have any popular hits. It does definitely have potential for, you know, for some big hitters. And I like to think I've had some good fortune when it comes to pulling stuff out of battle styles. I've gotten the alternate art uh, Rapid Striker Ishifu, pretty cool. Another green code. If anyone wants to claim that, there you go. And we'll do four from the back. One, two, three, four. Boom. See what this brings. Fire Energy. Single Strike Mustard. Cheryl. B Sharp. Tepig as a single strike. Pachirizu. Mindfu. Baltoy. Galarian Mr. Mime. We got its evolve form in the Darkness of Blaze. Reverse Hollow Agaslash as the rare. I do believe I have this, but hey, it's a reverse rare. And Conkledur. The pull rates in this set typically aren't the best, uh, but that's not to say it's not worth probably getting some packs here and there. I know GameStop will still have, maybe other retailers will as well. Um, and who knows? You might actually get that Seeker Rare or Alternate Art or Reverse Rare, whatever it is you guys are looking for. So... Moving on to the main event for this particular pack. Now, we do have other products that we will be opening for celebrations because, I mean, the set, even though it's not the largest, it just has a lot of nostalgia, a lot of great cards. They're just so beautiful, the artworks and whatnot. We will be opening these six booster packs. And uh, let's see what we can pull. Maybe we can pull some Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, maybe some Mega Rayquaza action. Who knows? Let's, uh, let's see what we can get. As we mentioned before, these packs only have four cards each. So when you do open them, just try to be careful. Uh, it's not gonna be as sturdy as other regular ones like the Sword and Shield packs that we just opened. Uh, maybe even we can get a Secret Rare Gold Mew. What do you guys think? And away we go. White Code card. Show that off for you guys. And I believe for these four, it's only one from the back. And again, the reason we do that is because it's going to make sure that your rare is the last one, the hit. We got Holographic Solgaleo. It's a very beautiful. All the cards in this set will be holographic. Uh, so a lot of people will appreciate that. They're very nice, very attractive. Dialga, it's actually one of my favorites right there. It's the hollow. Oh man, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're seeing the glimmer in the back, so it's going to be something good. But hey, let's just see what these are to cause moments to hollow. And for the first hit is, ooh, Dawn Fan Prime. <laughs> this set actually came out in 2010 under the Heart Gold Soul Silver block. The cool part about this is that you can see the year that this card was originally printed. Let's see if we can zoom that in, perhaps. 2010? Nope, doesn't want to show up. And also, it keeps the original uh, logo that I kept when the set released. So, this is from Hard Gold Soul Silver. I really like this card. Don Fan. So, when you get good cards like that, you kind of want to sleeve them up. I do have some sleeves next to me. Um, I bought this pack of 500 sleeves for $6. These are what are known as penny sleeves. They're actually very handy. They're the simplest form. But you want to sleeve your cards that are really, really good just to make sure that they don't get ruined. Uh, and preserve them better. That opened a lot easier than I thought, actually. Um, and just to make sure that they don't get scratched, they don't get dust on them. They come in four individually wrapped packs like this of 500, probably. I don't know how many. I can't do math right now. But <laughs> it has plenty of packs so you can preserve those uh, big hits or just cards that you like as your favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and just sleeve up this Dawn Fan because it is a hit. It's part of the classic collection. And we can continue. What do you guys think about this? Did you guys have, ever get any Prime cards? Heart Gold Soul Silver. This is in the 2000 block. 2010 block, sorry. Um, I was able to get some. I thought it was a great set. Let's go on to pack number two. Now what can we get here? I think it's going to be pretty hard to get disappointed because regardless, we're going to be opening a lot of packs. 
this is something that I enjoy. Like I mentioned earlier, I like sh sharing this experience with, you know, friends. And uh, there's nothing like being a fan of this hobby, you know? There's nothing like seeing it for such a long time. Even if most of us took a hiatus, maybe we walked away from it for years when we thought it wasn't cool anymore. It happens. But uh, we all did. I was talking so much, I don't remember if I did the pack trick for this one or not. Let's go ahead and just get into it then. Full of our Pikachu. Hey, look at that. It's the original artwork from base set, and it's also the original artist, Mitsuhiro Arita. The man's a beast of an artist. It's a very beautiful card. <laughs> Another Cosmo, first repeat. We got Holographic Reshiram. And Rockets Admin. A lot of people like this card. This is actually from the Team Rocket Returns in the Ruby and Sapphire set, 2004. And this is actually a very competitive card at the time. So because of that, it actually caused the card to grow very, very high in value. I didn't know at the time I didn't have it. Really, the last set that I got into before that was actually the Neo series. So I didn't really get into this set too much, but pretty cool card. So, so far we're two and two when it comes to the classic set cards. Let's see if we can keep it going. Pack number three. What do you guys think? Are you guys looking for the big three as well? Are you looking for that Mew? Maybe you want that Don Fan Prime. There's other cards. There's a, Those are only a few out of the 25 set that we can get. So, again, we have another white code. I'm kind of opening them with Funky, but because this is the first time I'm opening these packs. So, the code cards you see here on the screen, feel free to redeem them. That's a little thank you for watching this and other vids. And let's get into pack number three. Professor's Research. This is pretty cool because you never really see an artwork card where the artwork is coming out of the card like this. It's not the same as an Ultra Rare. And also, Professor's Research does have a full art version of the same card, so it's pretty cool. Evil Tall, I actually like that one. Diaga, another Hollow, love it too. And Zekrom, I like Zekrom. Zekrom goes with the Reshiram that we got. So no classic collection card there, not at this time. I'm actually gonna go ahead and sleep the Pikachu. I forgot to do that. <laughs> uh, technically it's part of the regular set of this uh, Celebrations um, lineup. However, it's just so nostalgic and it's just such a beautiful artwork that I got to sleeve it. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I am. All right, so three packs left. We're almost done for this one. And guys, I forgot to mention, but please don't forget to like the video. If you like content like this, subscribe, hit notifications. Make sure you hit all those buttons and we'll keep pumping them out as we can. I do have some stuff coming on, so I try to do this on my free time for fun more than anything. Like I mentioned, I want to share this with my friends, with family, others that, you know, we've been maybe closet fans for years, so to speak. But, um, I mean, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from friends and, and family, so this has actually encouraged me, if anything. So I'm really happy that we get to do this together. Let me go ahead and open this pack a little bit because I don't want to ruin the cards. It's just, this is the thing to enjoy with family, friends, especially if you have children of your own. This is something that we grew up with, and now we get to pass along to them, you know? Code card for that one. Put one card to the front. Pack trick, and away we go. Pack number four. Second full art Pikachu. I love this. Cosmo. Sorry, Cosmog. It's the basic form. Evil Tall. And Clay Doll is actually a classic collection hit. So, because this is from 2008, this is from the, I don't remember the block. This is going to be Diamond and Pearl, I believe, if it's 2008. And this is actually another pretty competitive card. Probably the least popular of this set, but it's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it. It does have a special hollow foil pattern. So, you'll notice it's a little different from the regular set cards. There it is. Okay, and let me sleeve up that Pikachu too. Now, if you guys saw my Instagram post, I did mention kind of a shout out to um, some of the YouTubers that I enjoy watching to this day. I still do. Um, they kind of inspired me to uh, 
watch their content. I didn't think I would ever try to start a channel, but here I am, you know, I'm actually doing it. Like I said, just for fun, but hey, if you guys are watching, PokeRev, Omosh, Real Breaking Nate, Leon Hart, you guys are, are pros, and PokeNav, of course. All of them bring something else to the table, something different, something unique. Uh, for the most part, you know, they're, they're, they're great. They're, there's nothing you can say negatively about them. They're genuine guys, they all have families, and they take time out to, you know, put out great content. So shout out to you guys there, and uh, let's get it, guys. Pack number five. Celebrations opening here. Code card. We're going to do one card from the back. And away we go. Full art Pikachu. We got three of these. I'm going to make like a montage collage or something about these. Because, I mean, they just look great, man. Holographic Ho. Oh, I like this. Now I just need Lugia to go with them. Groudon. Very cool art. It almost seems like this would be a vintage or like a classic hit card. Just so cool. Russia Ram. Do we have another one? No, nope. that's the last one in this pack. Man, so uh, we started off a little warm, but uh, still got room for some hits. Let's see if this last pack can bring some real fire. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Guys, if you enjoyed this again, I want you to, I want to thank you guys for taking time out and watching. If you enjoy this, like I said, we're going to be opening other packs. We have other products like you saw in the post before. Uh, we will be sharing it with everyone. And if you enjoy it, smash the like button. Uh, I just want to make sure this is open first. You guys probably caught a spoiler there. Hmm. Does not want to open. Oh my gosh. There we go. Normally I don't like opening it all the way. It just comes out nice, but not this one. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's a bad sign. I don't know. Last code card of the night. Card for one card from the back. And let's do this. Flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu. All right. I think I'm doing this wrong because the, the the hit is already the last one. I'm actually botching it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Lugia to go along with my ho, -Oh. Evil Tall, and a Reshiram. Yeah, the hit is actually definitely the last one already. So I was kind of uh, ruining it a little bit there. But hey, it all came out of the same box. So I think some of them had the pack trick, and others did not need it. But there you go. So. Guys, thanks again for taking out time for watching. Uh, we'll be putting out some more videos out there soon. I'll take some time to prep this one up so you guys can watch and it's all great. And until next time, thanks. Have a good day.